Hello friends and welcome to today's video. In previous video, we have gone through about what is acceleration rate calorimetry, what are its advantages and disadvantages. If you are not gone through this video, link is shared in description box with other safety related video too. Request you to like this video if you find it's worthy for you. Please share this video so people from same field get benefited with such knowledge stuff. You also connect with us on our Facebook page and blog page. Links are shared in description box. So let's start today's video. Powder safety part 8 ARSST. The new advanced reactive system screening tool that is ARSST is an easy to use and cost effective calorimeter that can quickly and safely identify potential chemical hazard in the process industry. ARSST data yield critical experimental knowledge of the rate of temperature and pressure rise during a runaway reaction, thereby providing reliable energy and gas release rate which can be applied directly to full scale process conditions. ARSST description the basic component of ARSST include 10 ml open spherical glass test cell, heater, insulator, thermocouple, pressure transducer and 350 cc stainless steel containment vessel that serve as a both a pressure simulator and safety vessel. A small magnetic stirrer bar is typically placed in a test cell and driven by external magnetic stirrer. The external bottom heater belted directly to test cell. The apparatus has low effective heat capacity relative to that of sample which may be expressed as capacity ratio or a five factor of about 1.04. This key feature allow a measured data to be directly applied to process scale. Sample temperature is measured using a type K thermocouple and 500 PSIG pressure transducer is standard. The containment vessel is hydrostatically tested to 3000 PSIG and it has hysterolyzed rupture disc rated about 900 PSIG. Containment gas temperature is readily measured during a test by using an optional second thermocouple. The containment vessel and magnetic stirrer are normally located in a chemical hood with a connection to a regulated inert gas supply and vent. The control box contains a temperature and pressure amplifier and a heater power supply. A single heater circuit power the 24 ohm bottom heater and delivers up to 17 watt. An external field tube can be used to add a reagent to an open test cell either before or during the test and an injection piston can be used to add a reagent against elevated back pressure. ARSST can be available with flow ringman detector which allow operator to distinguish between foamy and non-foamy runaway reaction. It compares a small immersion heater and an attach a thermocouple that is positioned in the upper freeboard space of the test cell. An auxiliary control box contain a dedicated power supply for the sensors. The detector temperature is displayed on ARSST screen and also logged to the output data file. Prior to externally heating the chemical sample itself, power is supplied to an internal heating coil to establish an elevated sensor temperature which is well above the anticipated boiling temperature of the sample. The detector operates on a simple principle that if the flow rigmin following the onset of boiling is foamy then the detector will be weighted and rapidly cool. If the flow rigmin is non-foamy then detector thermocouple will continue to measure a temperature well in excess of sample temperature. Relief system for non-foamy system may be more realistically designed by treating two-phase flow discharge flow as a churkan turbulent rather than homogeneous. What is two-phase flow, churkan turbulent or homogeneous system, tempered and non-tempered system, what is foamy system and non-foamy system and how the vent size is calculated is an another topics. We will cover it in upcoming videos. Please make a note that DSC, TSU, ARC and ARSST are not only pure power testing techniques only. With the help of these, we can access the thermal risk associated with reaction mass 2. As well as onset temperature, thermal event associated with intermediate step of reaction can be assessed with these techniques. Various types of experiment are possible with ARSST, like conventional thermal scan experiment. 
fire exposure simulation may be carried out at a rate up to 30 degrees celsius per minute can be possible the onset temperature can be detected at rate as low as 0.1 degree celsius per minute and a heat of reaction can be estimated from the adiabatic temperature rise arsst used for calculation of heat of reaction vent sizing arsst is better equipped to handle a mixture and to capture a data while adding a reagent at a process temperature phi factor is very low it is nearly about 1.4 directly used for scale up open test cell methodology the arsst typically use a relatively small yet representative sample size of 5 to 10 grams in a lightweight glass test cell with a volume of approximately 10 ml the test cell volume of 5 ml or 20 ml are sometimes used the test cell is outfitted with a belt heater and then installed in a 350 ml or 450 ml pressure containment vessel In the open test configuration the test cell is open to containment vessel and boiling of test sample is prevented by imposing an inert gas back pressure within the containment vessel closed cell arsst in this configuration a pressure tube directly attached to a test cell for low phi factor testing there are several styles of glass test cells are available with a volume from 5 to 20 ml and combination test cell with a glass body and metal necks Low phi glass cell can often withstand substantial internal pressure 200 psi but even if the test cell rupture the content are safely contained without damaging any expensive part that is similar to conventional open cell arsst test low cell arsst used for quick identification of hazard with reasonable estimation of reaction onset description for secure metal to metal connection a standard arc bob can be used as a test cell and is simply attached on an underside of the vessel lid the heater connection are also made through the lid a short heater belt work well and assembly is wrapped in a foil a nest of insulation is placed inside the containment vessel to receive the test cell the pressure transducer is mounted external to a containment vessel while the sample thermocouple passes down inside the pressure tube Good agitation is achieved using small magnetic stirrer bar. In a closed cell configuration, pressure is measured directly in the test cell since the available void space is much less than for an open cell vent sizing test. It is recommended that the test cell fill fraction be substantially less than in vent sizing test, particularly for gas generation system. It is suggested to start with no more than 1 or 2 gram sample. Pressure transducer used in ARSST range from 45 to 20,000 psig on full scale. For most cleaning application a standard 1000 psig that is 70 bar transducer work well but for a better pressure resolution a lower range model may be preferred. Where possible it is good practice to estimate a prior the peak pressure that might be generated advantages of closed cell ARSS direct measurement of sample temperature in solid or liquid state can directly measure vapor pressure of reacting system better resolution of pressure for mild reactions onset detection for gas generating materials it is recommended that 450 ml containment vessel configured for closed cell operation ARSST used to estimate process safety parameters like heat of reaction heat of mixing total adiabatic temperature rise onset temperature tempering temperature self accelerating decomposition temperature and time to maximum rate low thermal inertia testing allow a data to be directly applied to a process scale तो आज की वीडियो में बस इतना ही मिलते हैं हमारे अगले वीडियो पाउडर सेफ्टी पार्ट नाइन में तब तक के लिए मैं रोहित साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय